It's the Revolution hosting Chivas USA here at Gillette Stadium tonight. The only meeting of the regular season between the two clubs in 2012. We've got back up top is Jerry Benson as that target forward. He's going to have his work cut out for him against a sturdy defense that's been pretty shaky the past couple games. Back in the central defense is Danny Caleb. He did had a rest last week against Seattle. He's big and tough on set pieces. That's been the Achilles heel for the Revolution. Good job. Well, they have had a swoon as of late. Chivas USA kicking off in red and white jerseys. They're winless in their last three as it's pinged long by Shari Joseph. His First official touch is a member of the GOATs against the Revs. One thing we probably haven't seen all year long is a big, long punt to a target guy. You usually don't see Sen way up there like that, but you've got a guy in Benson that likes to bump and bruise and has some legs behind him. This is Chris Tierney. Again, the long ball. Sen's there to receive it. Can't connect. But he gets on the second ball and buries it on the turn! An early goal for New England! Sayer Sen hits double figures on the season and beats Kennedy to bring the Foxborough faithful to their feet. And that's the momentum that we were looking for, carrying it over. Sen's been quiet for the last month, and he just buries it. Just a great ball up top here, just battling for it. And it's just that this Chivas defense has just been struggling the last month. Sen stays right on top of it and just hits a ripper on that second chance. Kennedy's struggling. Again, he's so upset right now. He's usually solid. It's those back few defenders that have been costing him. He's Riley serves it forward. Looked like offside, but it continues. A good shot beaten away. The rebound cleared by Soares. Townsend, the 23-year-old rookie out of University of Maryland, stayed onside, and that's the best chance of the match for Chivas USA so far here in the ninth minute. Tough. That's a big, heavy challenge from him, but Again, the Revs have to watch that back line. They've got to move themselves over. McCarthy comes in late, but AJ comes in, just gets on the goal side of him and clears one up after Matt spills a little one in front. Sent forward by Tierney. Header there by McKenzie. Not a great one. Went to the outside, but the Revs win it back. Rowe delivers for Benson. Who makes it 2-0? Jerry buries it. The Revs have doubled their advantage. Well, this is the front foot they wanted to get off on, Jeff, and they just haven't done it enough here. No, absolutely. That's what you want. Your two strikers with two first ten, ten minutes, two first goals. Just great. Jerry puts himself in a great position, but this is all Kellen Rowe. Just goes down in the corner. Again, just a little body to shimmy in and just a quick burst of speed to get end line. Puts it in their front six. Benjamin just gets a little toe on it. Great finish by him. Great ball by Rowe just to get it in the box. That's all they have to do. Just beat him one or two steps, get it in the danger area, and you got two target guys that can finish. Benson with three goals in six games for the Revolution now. And with every passing match, he's looking like a better and better signing. It's more fun to say that Jerry buried the goal, but <laughs> the Reds will take it however they can get it. You just like saying Jerry buried. Sent on the turn. Oh, 3-0! Sayer Sen, his second of the match, the second better than the first. 3-0 to the home side. They're running out of gunpowder in the north end zone here. That is just a shot. Just a long ball by the keeper. One touch there by Benson. Shari loses it. Sen gets on it and just rips it. Keeper thinks it's gone one way. That ball had a dip and a swerve into it and just beats Dan Kennedy from about 25 yards out. Taylor tries to get free again. LeBron is delivering Reese Cox and is beaten. 3-1. Chivas USA answers right back. Shari Joseph digs it out of the net and now it's a two goal advantage again. Maybe it's Shari who got the last touch on it. And he's getting an ovation from the fort. And that's Shaori. Just keep your eye on 18 there. He just yep. gets a touch. Beats guy to the ball. Keeper comes out late. Shaori does a big body. We've seen it year after year. He just gets himself in there at that front six and just buries a header. I think that he, he, he's tired seeing him get pushed around at, at home. One minute of stoppage time at the end of this. <laughs> Agudelo for Joseph in a bit for a second, and he has it! On his return, 
Shaw Reed Joseph, and he points to the ball not to say, hey, I scored, but hey, we want more. An emphatic statement by the former club captain here in the first half as he's pulled back two goals for Chivas USA. Wow, he is going to take this team and put him on the back, especially here where he's all psyched up. Just a, just a ripper from 20 yards out, just curls it out. Here's another look at it here where we get a better angle of how he gets that straight shot. Just runs straight onto it, and bam, just curls it over the defender right in that far post. And the Revs want to pick up that first 20 minutes of the game. Not the way they ended, but the way they started this. They want to keep that keep that going to start the second half like they did the first. Agadello turns, crosses, Townsend's there, heads it back across the face of goal, and it's a tie game! Miller Bolaños from Townsend. And the Revs have let a three-goal lead slip away. I'm almost speechless. Again, this first five minutes, first 15 minutes, it's a matter of the first two minutes. Just, just get, get beat far post, and then again, loose marking in that front six. The Revs know better. These defenders know better. They've got to find the ball. They've got to find the man. They just bury it. They're going to take these chances. Chivas is going to bury him. And he's struggling a little bit. Juan Pablo running at Soares, scissors move, drives it, saved by Reese, it's still loose, McCarthy's there, Agadello takes it down, shoots another save by Reese, away by Soares, only as far as Shaw Ree. The attack continues, Reese called into action twice on that sequence. They're keeping the revs uh, even. Again, Angel does well, nobody steps to the ball, so Angel unleashes, Matt's in a great spot, again, moving his body, following the play, there for the second save just to keep him. They're going to need to rely on him in the next 20, you know, 28, 30 minutes just to keep strong. So we're hearing that uh, Fagundes is set to check in. But our failout would already hand in the card. As Rowe goes up, it goes off the crossbar. Oh, great ball in. Again, Tierney getting forward. And talk about the, the leaps that Ryan Guy takes. Kellen Rowe for a small player. Appears to be able to get up off the turf pretty well, too. What about this play? Great ball in and a terrific header. Get on the other side. Look how how high Rowe gets. Tierney puts a great ball into there at the top of the six. Rowe just out jumps and just doesn't get enough of a of a whipping, you know, down on it, but again enough just to hit that crossbar. Sorry, Joseph. Two goals on the night advances, but it's stabbed out by Failhaber. Nice move by Guy. As Benny plays him into space. Failhaber takes a touch, still going around the keeper. Kennedy makes a great play, and then right in front of the referee, Failhaber goes down, no call. And take one extra touch. He does. He could have hit left foot right there at the top of the box, but he starts to play off at midfield. Good through ball in there. Then it looks like he gets, Caleb gets, Caleb gets a good two hands on him, knocks him down, but again, not really in the play at that point. Could be any second here. Jazz can Guy go up, oh, Guy won the header, but it didn't fall kindly for him. And there are the three, last of the whistle for full time. The Revolution take a three goal lead and draw 3-3. Ninth match in a row without a win.